Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailer explanation. In this video, we are going to cover unit add actions to your flow from the module flow builder. This is the last unit of this module. So here in the previous unit, we had created new opti flow and we had made many changes into it. We are we had also added our logic and now we are on the last unit challenge where we will be adding one new resource uh, by the name text template and we will also be adding one create record element. So by the end of this challenge, we will be able to create new opportunity record in our org if everything works fine. So how we can do that, let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground and find out. So go to your flow list over here. You will find that there is this new opti on uh, which we have to work. So open this, this will open the flow builder. Now, the very first thing that we have to do over here is we have to create one resource of text template type. API name is opti name. So I'm going to copy this from the challenge and go to your toggle toolbox. Now here, click on new resource and the resource type has to be text template. API name, I'm going to just simply paste this. Now inside the body, we have something that we want to, uh, that we have to add. Now body will contain a merge, uh, two merge field by the name account name and op opti identifier. These are the two variables which we had created in the previous units challenge. So we are going to add both of these values in the opti name text template now the text type we have to keep it as view as plain text so let's go back there and here's first of all let's change it to view as plain text now inside body the first thing that we have to add is account name so i'm going to just write this over here there it is account name just select this so this will be added give one space and here we have to add opti identifier so there it is opti identifier both of these has been added, just click on done. So our resource uh, of text template type has been created. Now moving on next, we have to create a one record, create record element, which we have to add uh, after assignment. So connect the assignment to the element. So let's go back to our flow builder. And after assignment, let's click on this plus icon. And from the drop down, we have to go to data section and select create records element. Now, the label that we have to provide is create opti. So I'm going to copy this. API name is going to be auto populated and the uh, how to set the record fields. We are going to sep uh, separately set each resource. So select this second one, second uh, option. Now object is opportunity. So I'm going to select opportunity from here. Now set values for the opportunity. Now set field values for the opportunity. Now here you will see that there are two sections. One is a field and another column is for value. And if you notice, there is this arrow which specify that whatever value we are going to take up over here will be assigned to this field. So the first thing the or the first value, uh, the first field that we have to assign value is for close date. And the value that will be assigned will be from the variable which we are using on our screen element, which the end user will enter using the input field, right? So let's uh, quickly map this name will be mapped to opti, opti name. This is the text template, which we created a few minutes back over here. And the stage name is again, uh, the previous units challenge, the variable we created in the previous unit. So let's quickly go back there and do this one by one. So first of all, close date field, we have to select this value will be close date. So here it is coming. This is the variable which we created in the previous unit. Now the next uh, field that we have to assign is name. Now name uh, field will be assigned the value of the name. Now this is the text template, which combines uh, two values, account name, the value that we are going to provide account name, the account that we are going to select from the screen element with combination with the opti identifier that we are going to input uh, in the, uh, that we are going to provide in the input component on our screen element. So these are the two things. Now adding the third one, the third one was stage name with opti stage. So let's quickly add this stage and the value need to be assigned is opti stage. This is the variable which created in previous unit. That's all we have to do in order to create records. Just click on done. Now how this flow is going to work. So this is the screen element here. We are going to add opti identifier, close date and account. 
Now, whatever value that we have added over here in the input uh, components, here uh, that will be stored in the variables that we have taken up. So opti uh, identifier close date, we have kept everything in the variables. If you have seen the first unit video. Now in the assignment, we are, do, we are just assigning the stage as well. Uh, by default, we have made this uh, hard coded, which is prospecting. So all the opportunities that we are going to create using this screen uh, element, uh, will have a stage as prospecting. Now, after that a stage has been assigned, it is going to create opportunity records uh, where we have also assigned certain values that is close date. We have given whatever we are going to provide on the UI. Same with the name and a name is from the text template, which is going to take combination of two field values. That is uh, the uh, opti identifier and the account name that we are going to select on the screen component. And the stage name is again, uh, uh, this is hard coded, uh, which is prospecting. So let's go back and first of all, just save this. Once it is saved, saved, let's go to debug and debug it. Click on run. Now here, opti identifier, I'm going to take up textile close date. Let's say it's 30th of November account. I'm going to take edge communication. Now clicking on next, it is going to create one record. If everything works fine, we do not get any exception or errors. Just click on next and let's see. Okay. So if you uh, notice over here that opti identifier has value textile uh, date, close date has value 30th of November and account that we had selected is edge communication. Now this account name variable has edge communication. Now we are going to use it further over here. Now, if you notice that this is the assignment element where opti stage is uh, specified the prospecting value. Moving on the create record element over here, if you notice that close date has been assigned the value from the close date variable, which uh, eventually I have given uh, from the screen element 30th of November, which has been stored in the close date variable. And again, it has been uh, stored in the close date field. The name is uh, value is taken up from the opti name where uh, this opti name variable uh, gets its value from the screen element again. Uh, and this is the, just the combination. So edge communication and textile. So edge communication is the account that I have selected with the combination of the opti identifier textile. So this is the combination of two uh, variables that we have taken up in the name and stage name is again prospecting that we have already hard coded and the record is ready to be created. So now if I go to my org and open up the opportunities, over here, I have already opened that opened up and if I'll just go to uh, recently viewed and there it is. If you notice that we have opportunity edge communication textile, you see over here, just click on this. Go to details. Now here, if you notice opportunity name, uh, this is the account name. And this one is the opti identifier. Close date is 30th of November. Stage name, stage is prospecting, which we had hard coded. And other than that, uh, I think these were the three fields that we were taking. Account name, if you notice, it is blank because we are not assigning it. We were just using the account name uh, value for the opportunity name. That's all we had to do. And this was the simple running example of how we can proceed with the flow. So this is all we have to do in the challenge. Let's go back to your flow and click on check challenge button. Hope I was able to convey all the points that are required uh, in order to complete this challenge and you got some clarity in your concepts. Let's just wait. There you go. This unit as well as this module is completed. See in the next video with another unit or module. If you have any suggestion, just comment it out. I'll make sure that I, pro pro I can provide any video on those modules or projects. See in the next video. Till then, take care. Thank you.